Okay, everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I'm hoping you can see this in the, on the film. If you look real close, this, this is a time of evening that you can sit back when the sun is setting and you can see the bees flying from a long distance away from the sunlight shining on them. Uh, it makes a real good video and a good picture as you can see the bees coming and going and the whole point of this video is what I was starting to talk about was community feeding. And at this time of year, we're pretty much in dearth. So the nectar flow is very slow. Uh, there's not much pollen coming in unless you're artificially feeding artificial pollen. And what we got going on here is community feeding and you can see my mower right there. I've been mowing and the bees are right here and about two or three hundred maybe about 200 feet away it probably ideally should be about 300 foot about a football field length away is your community feeding buckets now we'll go down and look as you can see the bees coming and going as they're feeding I've been feeding for about two weeks now and it's increasing as time goes on because the the dearth is getting worse and worse as we get into into July and August right around the corner <clears throat> so you can see um, the volume of bees that we feed we, when you have as many as we have if you don't feed your bees will suffer they'll survive but in our situation we're trying to increase when we're doing splits and once we fulfilled our obligation to nukes that we've sold and we just about filled that quota for the year and then we'll continue to sell nukes right up through fall as people inquire <coughs> up until this point i think we've sold around five to six hundred i guess or somewhere around that that number just ballpark figure but we'll continue to sell them right up through fall but what you need to do if you're if you have a lot of bees it's a good idea to community feed in situations like this when when in dearth when robin situations can occur and the reason being if you if you even hive top feed right now within these next two or three weeks it can cause a huge robin situation uh this morning when i got home from work there was three or four or five hives that i had to adjust uh the entrances because they was getting robbed out because they was actually splits that we done and the bees always seem to know they always seem to know what hives are weak and they will go into those hives and rob them out so be very careful this time of year uh, during this dearth in just end of july into august you just got to be very careful and in my opinion this is just speaking by experience that community feeding is your best option just keep it a good distance away from your hives at least at least 300 feet if you can a football field away and it works out very well because it feeds them good it keeps them away from your hives for that time period stop your your hive top feeding for just a little bit maybe till about mid-august and then once goldenrod starts coming in the situation is not near as bad you can start feeding again because you're you're supplemented with a with a goldenrod as well so so you got that source coming in now now here's the other thing when it comes to community feeding now i get a lot of backlash from this people saying you're you're uh, causing diseases you're spreading diseases from from other colonies coming in look if if you're in anywhere in the country bees are opportunists they will feed wherever they can find a source whether it's in a dumpster in coke or pop cans sitting around anything anywhere there's a, a sugar source 
around restaurants where they throw in trash they will go in and community feed so uh th that idea of bee spreading disease is is a crock i can tell you that and and i know i'll get a lot of backlash but that's fine because i know the truth uh it, it just it's not like that if, if when it comes to this time of year and you want to keep increasing your bees it's either stop feeding and just let them let them go and let them maintain which you can do that as well just let them maintain until goldenrod comes through you're losing out on a lot of bee production if you're if that if that's your idea if that's what you're trying to do is increase your bee population but open feeding like this the the way i see it these bees right here will go somewhere and find a source of sugar whether they go to the local dumpster down the road or the local mcdonald's or wherever they will find a source of sugar i can assure you so it's either feed them at home or let them go in somebody's local dumpster and feed so the choice is yours but 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 it's common sense it just doesn't make sense to let them go somewhere else when you can keep them at home and feed them what what you want to feed them so i don't know how you can debate that but i just wanted to throw that little message out there i did a video last year on open feeding but it's but it's been a year ago and i just wanted to refresh that in people's minds about open feeding the way we do we do these five gallon buckets uh you can get them at well you can see the the logo you can get them there or or different lumber stores or anywhere you know where you can get five gallon buckets and what we do is is th these all have cavities inside if you can see if i can clear them out there for just a second there's cavities inside here so what you do inside the bucket you'll drill a hole just right at the bottom right at the bottom of that cavity about one third of the way up with a smallest drill drill bit that you can find uh, in each cavity except the one where the where the bell sticks in because if you drill here all your sugar water will leak out this hole right here so don't do that as i'm sitting here talking these bees are just covering me up but it's as simple as that you can do these five gallon buckets uh that's that's what i would recommend get you some of these buckets now some of these have a screw down top that you can get at that store or any lumber store uh, and th this type right here on this one is just a press down type but you can see on this one here see how they're coming down to the bottom of the of this one because the sugar leaks out a little bit where on this one they don't quite as bad and they're actually going in in the the cavity where they're supposed to go so i would highly recommend the screw down type it's a little bit more expensive but you know chances are you only gonna need one or two so they're about seven or eight dollars with with the whole bucket the bucket and the lid and everything probably eight dollars so it's not that bad it, it's a good quality feeder they work great you can make these they're simple to make like i said you just um, where the cavity is on the inside just drill down a, a, a third of the way up on the inside of the bucket with the smallest drill bit you can find and fill it up with sugar water it'll create a vacuum and these bees will absolutely tear it up that's about it a little tip from barnyard bees today uh because it's dearth and uh stay tuned for my next video i'm getting ready to make one here tomorrow the next day on splits on late later season splits you know we're getting into late july early august so it's the situation's changing you got to go with more and more bees as you do splits uh it's hard to do splits with just a frame full of bees you got to go with at least two frames now with a lot of bees because because of the robin situations that can go on so uh watch out for that video i'm getting ready to put it out either probably friday friday or saturday something like that 
So that's about it. Don't forget, we have queens. We'll have queens all the way till November. If you want your barnyard be packages, nukes, we're taking deposits right now and all the way till spring. So the earlier you order your nuke, the earlier you'll get it in the spring. So keep that in mind the same way with the packages, three pound packages, barnyard bees. You'll love these folks. I can assure you it's an absolute pleasure to walk into bees like this that are that are this common gentle. Uh, just read some of our comments. Go through our videos and read the comments of people that's bought our bees, and 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 even write them and ask them. They'll tell you. Our customers are very satisfied with our bees. I can assure you, these are very calm, gentle bees, and they're a pleasure to work with. And uh, barnyardbees.com to put down your deposit. You can pay in full, or you can call our store. Area code seven zero six. 971 2700 if you would rather put down a deposit uh, use the phone option to call for the deposit but if you want to just go ahead and pay in full uh, barnyardbees.com that's about it don't forget to click on the little bell don't forget to like please spread these videos along we're trying our best to get these out to the to the new beekeepers and uh, as time goes on it's getting harder and harder to keep bees and we're trying to get this knowledge out to, to the new beekeepers, so please spread these videos. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.